Hello YouTube, it's Tuesday, March 22nd. Get ready for Ion Tech News. Today we have a ton of tech news. Like how yesterday was Twitter's fifth birthday. And Twitter released a video featuring Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. By the way, if you're not already, follow me on Twitter. First story up is a new technology that YouTube is working on. Basically the idea behind this technology is that it will take your crappy video footage and it will actually stabilize it. Video in the description, check it out, it's crazy! I really hope YouTube does this. What the? Motorcycle guy? God. There's a video in the description that actually makes the technology look pretty amazing, so check that out. Microsoft and the feds brought down a botnet that's responsible for 39% of worldwide spam. This is great news. Now we're going to have 39% less crap email asking me if I want to buy pills and whatnot. Also this week we learned out that Netflix is going to be coming out with new original content. So instead of turning on the TV to watch that new TV show that just came out, you're going to turn on your Xbox 360 or your PlayStation 3 or you're going to get on your computer to watch Netflix and there's going to be a brand new TV series on there and you're going to be able to watch it instantly on your computer. This could completely change how we watch television shows and if you don't know already, the internet has killed TV. Another tech story that makes me very happy this week is that a study came out yesterday telling us that Verizon has the fastest 4G network out of any other mobile carriers. And it means that I am on the fastest 4G network even though I only have a 2G phone. Wait. Also along those same lines, this week AT&T bought T-Mobile for $39 billion. This is good news if you're on AT&T's network because your signal will probably be better than it was. And if you're on T-Mobile's network, it's probably bad news for you because you're going to have to wait a year until you can actually get the iPhone. And a ton of hassle integrating into the AT&T network. Alright everybody, we actually have some extra time today to do some movie news, so let's go right into that. The Dark Knight Rises is going to be coming out next year, and they've just started telling us who the cast is going to be. We already know that Catwoman's going to be... Oh god, what's her name? Anne... <laughs> Anne Hathaway. Okay, so anyways, we just also found out that Joseph Gordon-Levitt has been confirmed that he will be in The Dark Knight Rises. However, we still don't know what character he's going to be. Some people have rumored that he will be Bane. Alright, so I want to wrap up movie news with one little piece of news about the Hobbit movie. Filming and production has finally started, and there are some new pictures that have come out. Take a look at them in the description below. I told you there was a ton of news this week and today, so buckle your seatbelt, because we're going into video game news. Let's start it out with the obvious. Peter Molyneux got an award for Fable 3, and he said that getting that award kind of helped him and his ego for the terrible reviews that Fable 3 got. Here's the thing about Peter Molyneux. He also admitted to lying and overhyping what was actually in the Fable games before they would come out. He would tell Fables about what was actually in the game. He actually came out and admitted to lying about what was in the games just to keep reporters awake at night. What the? What the heck are you talking about? That's terrible news for the gamer. Now we can't trust a single thing Peter Molyneux says. Fable 4 is going to come out, and I'm not going to get it. Also in video game news, there are some former Bungie employees that have created a new gaming studio called Moonshot Games. Really? Moonshot Games? That's what they came up with? If you want to take a look at the video game that they're developing, check out the link in the description. Alright everybody, that is the tech news that happened this week. I'm glad you are finally up to date on the things that were important to me. Hopefully they were important to you. And like I said, every Tuesday is an I Am Tech News video. So if you don't get my updates on Twitter through the week, check back every Tuesday night or Wednesday morning if you prefer. And there will be a new I Am Tech News video up that you can watch with all the updates that have happened since last Tuesday. Please click the subscribe button so that you know what's going on in the tech news world. Thank you again. My name is JJ, and this has been Tech News. 